Honorable Chief Minister, 24 years ago, almost to this date, the then Chief Minister, Honorable Kalinga Ravargal, inaugurated our first factory. It was a mere 525 crore investment. Today, in the last two decades plus, we've invested 10x that. And I'm 11 months ago, you were kind enough to meet our global board who came for the first time to India in 360 years. And you convinced, along with your officials, convinced them to invest. And we signed an MOU for 3,400 crores. I'm extremely happy to state that out of the 3,400 crores, 800 crores of projects is an advanced stage of completion. It was just 11 months ago. And that's uh, Industries Minister, you talked about speed of Tamil Nadu. The support that we get from the group is extraordinary. And today, we are laying the foundation for a new site at Waragadam for 2,500 crores worth of additional investment. And we believe that site has got the potential for another 2,500 crores of investments. So we're extremely happy. Why are companies, which is a 360-year-old company, the Sango Bank, why it's a serious company and a serial investor in Tamil Nadu. I think over 60% of the investment that we have made in India is in Tamil Nadu. Why do we keep coming to Tamil Nadu and why do we look at that? I just look at it as five simple factors and I'm sure that the fellow investors who are here will know that. Firstly, we come here for the people. I don't think, I mean, it's not a statement and I'm representing Asia Pacific in Sangoba. I don't think you will find more competent, more committed people than anywhere else in from Tamil Nadu. I think this is, this is the first and the foremost thing. And I think it's been nurtured. There's very high education standards, skilling, and everything. The second thing is that, which we all worry about is productivity. I think it's not something which people talk too much about it. And when you're looking at investment, this is a state where manufacturing and construction industry productivity is very high. There is a very solid ecosystem that supports that productivity. And, there is, and also today, we are talking about, I think the industries minister talked about sustainability. If you want sustainable manufacturing anywhere in this part of the world, you have to come to Tamil Nadu. One, your power is already 50% green in Tamil Nadu. When you get a power from the state grid, it's 50% green almost. And then in our own case, by 2026, will be 75% renewable energy from solar, wind, and power. And that's possible for a power-intensive industry like us. So that's a very important part. And deep cost factors in Tamil Nadu are low. Tamil Nadu is an intensely free market and competitive state. So this is another important factor that you remember. The third one is the processes. And I think the third P, the processes that are there, particularly Tamil Nadu uh, guidance, supported by support, it's transparent, predictable. You know what you will get, you know when you will get. And this is something which is not often the case, and I can tell you that I, I have investments in several ASEAN countries. I don't see this level of predictable process that we see in Tamil Nadu. And the last is, when you invest in Tamil Nadu, you actually become a partner in Tamil Nadu. The people of Tamil Nadu, the government of Tamil Nadu, the senior government officials, they actually treat you as a partner. And that's a huge and a partner in prosperity. And that's a huge thing. And I can give a solution, and they bring a solution mindset to the problems. We had a challenge, because when we announced the investment 11 months ago, uh, the site that we wanted was very clearly an SEZ site. The Tamil Nadu government worked tirelessly through support and the guidance and they converted that SEZ to a regular in industrial investment zone and handed over that in record time. And today we're beginning that investment. That's why we have the inauguration. There is a solution mindset. There is a very clear escalation, and you get all of these things done. So that's really the partnership mindset. And the last, we keep investing because the performance of our businesses, which are located out of Tamil Nadu, are amongst the best in the world. So whether it's people, productivity, processes, transparent processes, a partnership mindset, or for that matter, the performance of the business, because at the end of the day, we keep coming back for investment. If the performance is not good, we're not going to invest. All of these five pieces, Tamil Nadu is beautifully aligned. 
So my only re request for the investors here, stay invested. If this is the first time you're doing it, you're going to be a serial investor like us and a serious investor. I do wish you the very best for the investment. That 70,000 crores is just the tip of the iceberg of what Tamil Nadu can do for all of you. Thank you. Nandri Panakam.